Jesus. The name when said brings an array of thoughts and images to mind, from the stories that we've heard and the stories that we've told, but not many images would rival the one that sits on the chains around our necks or that's tattooed on our legs, the one that's used as a sign of hope, and yet remains the most gruesome way to die, the image of the cross, and Jesus, the young man from the Middle East, dying upon it. But he did die with purpose, and we'll come back to that. But this is not where it began for the 33-year-old, and in fact, it's not where it ends. At this time of year, amongst the festive and cheer, I guess the image most of us would think about when we say his name, Jesus, is the image of Joseph and Mary in a stable, and there laying between them in a manger, a baby boy, the one whose birthday we celebrate. But even this, you see, is not the beginning of the story. In fact, to grasp the fullest meaning of this great day that we celebrate, the day when this baby was born, is to grasp a fuller understanding of whence he came. This boy's birthday that the world stops to celebrate is not like anyone else's birthday. And this boy is unlike any other boy. He has no beginning and he has no end. He didn't start in the manger and he certainly didn't end on the cross. Today, here at Emmanuel, we want to explore who he really is, to look at the timeline of creation and see that this child Jesus is the one who was and is and is to come.